Guys, it's me, Arthur, and you're watching How to Draw Creepy Creatures. Now, uh, if you watched my last episode, you'll know that this is a follow-up to the Egyptian Griffin episode. Once I finish this, I'm going to uh, work on some requests I got from you guys, which I'm excited about. But first off, I just want to start with, um, in the last sketch, you might notice that the wing is a little different. It, after I finished recording, I realized that the scale of the wing was all wrong, so I fixed it. So, uh... That's you know, pretty much the only thing I've changed. It's still the original picture. But anyway, uh, we're going to paint this now. Now, Egyptian griffins are really interesting because they incorporate the colors of the royal family, the royal colors. So that would be red, gold, and blue. So it looks really unique. Now, we're going to start with the gold tones on the lion body first. So I mixed some paint, which I thought would be good for this. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. bit. I'm going to add in a little bit of this darker, uh, uh, this darker chestnut color to make it look a bit more gold because it's more mustardy than gold and we don't want that. Okay. Let's begin. We're going to start with the lion's body first, so just smooth, steady strokes to fill in this area. Now I've mixed some uh, orangish, reddish brown to use for this part because you could just use like straight red, but that's not really a color that occurs that very often in nature. So if you want to do it on like an animal's plumage, maybe dulling it a little bit or mixing it with another color will make it look more natural. So that's what I'm going to do here. Thank you. 
can have blinds on these cars on the other Well, now you're probably thinking that the whole thing looks like a blobby mess, but for now, that's exactly what we want. Because what we're going to do is that we're going to take a very fine tipped brush. I actually wanted to do some uh, 
blue stripes on the mane, so it would vaguely resemble an Egyptian headdress. So I'm just going to use a very small amount of blue paint. You have just finished painting the Egyptian griffin. All right, uh, like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Uh, my email and my and the link to my Patreon page is in the description. And if you have any questions about the show or uh, suggestions for creatures that you want me to draw, you can just leave it in the comments. Uh, I got two upcoming requests that I need to finish, but uh, I'm going to keep on going with the African theme this February. And, uh, yeah, so uh, anybody who finished the lesson on the show and would like to show off your artwork, you can just send it to me. As long as you give me your permission, I will show off the show with your name so everybody knows that you did it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and goodbye.